My opinion of the Flow Hive 2 is very good. If I were coming up with improvements for the Flow Hive, you've pretty much touched on all of them. Hi, my name is Hilary Kearney. I'm really excited about the new Flow Hive. I'm really happy to see that the, the guys have continued to develop the design and continue to develop a beautiful product that's going to encourage, hopefully, another group of people to get into beekeeping and enjoy their bees. There are so many things that I like about it, and I'll tell you why. The integrated foundation that supports the hive, it has those threaded uh, legs which allow you to level it up. You don't have to guess about whether or not it's level. You don't have to ring a level with you because those little bubble levels are already integrated into the woodwork on the back and the side. Once everything is loaded onto it, even when it's a heavy hive full of bees and honey, you'll still be able to adjust it. I like that that pull away is vented and you can decide how much venting you want to allow to go through. Critical during times of uh, evaporation when they're taking the nectar down and condensing it into honey. The next thing is, of course, the integrated shelf unit. The shelf that uh, now is composed of the pullout panel, so it's all self-contained. That's fantastic. The fewer things we have to take to the bee yard when we're extracting honey, I think, the better. I like the new inner cover design, the fact that you can limit or prohibit the bees from getting up into the gabled open area of that cover. That's a nice improvement. Another thing that's a big bonus on the gabled roof, people often worry about that slant, but having those thumb screws on the side, you don't have to put anything else on it, you don't have to strap it down. That lets it securely attach that roof to that upper box, which is your flow super. This flow hive is such a work of art with the laser cutting and how accurately it's made and just the excellent look of it. This is a showpiece for your garden. When you show your bees and you have visitors and you're going to explain how honey comes out of it, just a huge bonus. So I absolutely like the new Flow Hive too. My favorite thing is the stand. I think I really have a hard time finding stands that I like, and I usually end up building my own. And this one really looks perfect. I love that it's just seamless in the design, and it's also gonna be really useful. I love that you can adjust the height. I think that's gonna really help people with lifting. Uh, you can get your hive at the exact right height for you. The other thing I really like is the back bottom board uh, where you pull out the mite tray. Having that adjustable feature to be able to let in ventilation or not. I actually don't want ventilation getting into my hives uh, because of my climate. And so I'm excited that now there's going to be a feature that lets me just change that when I need it. So it's going to be really cool. The original flow hive behind me, we've had at Australian Parliament for a while now. It's really impressive that it's worked exactly out of the box as you would hope. And one of the really nice things I love about the new version of the design is how it's really gone that extra yards to support natural beekeeping, which I'm quite passionate about. The levels built into the base, so you can actually keep your frames and your, your levels really, really tight, which is what you need for foundationless beekeeping, but also that general ethos of the company of just beautiful design that allows you to keep bees in a really low stress environment and also the mechanism of extracting honey itself. You still have to check for a disease obviously in the brood box, but the actual honey extraction is just so much less stressful for the bees. And I think that the new iteration of the design really continues that. 